welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, then hi, my name is Lauren. And on my channel, we mostly talk about anything luxury, but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty. So if you're interested in any of these topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video. So in today's video, I'm presenting you a real versus fake video featuring the Rolex Submariner 41 millimeters with a date. So if you would like to learn how to spot the differences in this iconic watch, then please keep on watching. So really quickly before we start this video, the real watch is actually not my watch, my own watch, it's my man's watch. This is why the bracelet doesn't fit me at all, you will see that on the match shots. I absolutely love doing fake versus real videos, they have been kind of a thing on my channel lately, you may have noticed. If you've been subscribed to it for a while, I absolutely love doing those, I think that they're so fun, they're so informational. And the latest one that I have done is actually from the same like fake factory, <laughs> I'm not sure how to call them, but let's go ahead and call them a fake factory. Um, and it was featuring Louis Vuitton Wonderland Flat Ranger Boots. And to be very honest with you, I was so, so disappointed with the quality of the items. It really wasn't great. You could totally tell the difference. By the way, if you are interested in seeing this video, then I will go ahead and leave it in the little information link over here for you to see it. But here I have to say that I am blown away by the quality of the fake. It is really, really nice. It looks totally genuine. So let's go ahead and try to spot those differences together. All right, so as usual, let's start with the packaging. I think that when it comes to fakes, it's the thing that is usually the most telling, and I think that it is the case here for this watch. So can you tell which one is the fake one and which one is the real one? So over here in this hand, we have the real box, and then over here in this other hand, we have the fake. And right away, I think that there is a massive difference, and that is in terms of color. I do think that the fake one, which again is in this hand, is a lot brighter, is a lot of a brighter yellow than the real one, which is here. So the boxes are actually virtually the same size, but if we do open them, we will notice a difference when it comes to the Rolex logo. The writing isn't the same, the size of the font isn't the same, and then the logo itself, it's slightly different, as you can see. So here again, we have the fake one, which is in this hand, and then here we have the real one. When it comes to the boxes of the watches themselves, there isn't a big difference. Again, it's actually the same dimensions. The only thing really is, again, the color. So if we do take a look at the fake one, which again is here, the shade or the tone of green is a lot like darker and it's a lot less shiny than the real one, which is in this hand. So the last thing to mention regarding the boxes is the color of the interior. I do think that firstly there is a difference when it comes to like the quality of the fabric. That's really noticeable when you touch it, but other than that I don't think that it's really noticeable. However, the main difference is in the color. Again, the color always seems to be the problem in this packaging. Um, the color of the interior is different, so when we look at the real one, which is in this hand, the interior is a lot lighter and is a lot like brighter as well than the fake one, which is in this hand. I'm not sure why, but the fake one's interior kind of reminds me of like 
color like dirty or something like that. It seems like it's been used before. I really don't think so, but it certainly seems that way. So there is a big difference in color of the interior of the box. So now let's go ahead and move on to the watches themselves. So now let's talk about the watches themselves. And honestly, I always like write my videos ahead of time and like kind of, you know, jot down some important talking points. And here, super honestly, like I was looking at the watches for a good 10 minutes, trying to come up with something to say, trying to spot even a single difference. And it was really, really hard to find something to say. I actually am very, very, very impressed with the quality of this fake, which is pretty scary, um, to be honest. And yeah, as I was like looking at them, I was, you know, trying to see a difference. I couldn't see one. And I was trying to tell myself, well, you know, you're a Columbia University graduate. You're pretty smart. You should be able to spot something. You should be able to at least think of something or like think of a place to look. And it was so, so difficult to come up with even a single difference, but I have spotted tiny, tiny ones. So let's look at them together. So the first thing to notice is a difference in the dial and more precisely the color of the dial. Again, everything is about color in this fake. Um, so if we do take a look at the fake dial, which again is here, the color of the dial is obviously black, which is similar to the real one, which is in this hand. However, the difference comes in like the shade of black. The shade of black is a lot brighter, is a lot darker, more like in your face um, than the real one, which is here. And then um, the biggest difference also when it comes to color comes from the color of the numbers and then the markers that are on the dial. Um, so both of them are white, but the shade of white, again, is very, very different. Um, the real one seems to be more like subdued, less, you know, noticeable, less pop of color. Um, and then the fake one, which again is here, is like super duper, like bright white, <laughs> kind of like my face right now, bright white. So yeah, there is a tiny difference in terms of color. But honestly, it's not something that you would really notice if you saw this watch like from afar or even, you know, on somebody at a bar or a restaurant. I don't think that you would be able to tell. You really do have to compare and kind of sit and thoroughly observe. The next thing that we're going to take a look at is the bezel. And here I think the biggest difference actually comes when you touch the watch rather than, you know, from vision alone. I think that it is a little bit noticeable, but again, you have to basically put your glasses on. Um, so the bezel on the fake one, which again is here, is a lot softer, is a lot like more round um, than on the real one, which is here. The real one is a little bit like pointy and maybe a little bit hard, um, but this one seems like softer on your hand. It feels a lot nicer um, on your hand and less like, you know, um, pointy and then all that. So there is a difference in terms of the bezel, but I think that it is more noticeable when you touch it than from vision alone. Now let's observe the case. And here I think that the biggest difference for the entire watch comes from the case and more precisely like the proportion of the case. So the case on the fake one, which again is in this hand, is a lot thicker, is a lot larger than on the real one, which is over here. Um, therefore, there is like a big difference in between um, the case and then the dial. That difference, that size, that space is a lot larger on the fake one. Additionally, I do think that if we look at the dial on both watches, um, there is no difference if you look at it, but if you do touch it, it seems like the dial on the fake one, which is here, um, kind of is pointing less outwards than on the real one, which is here. So this is something that you can like feel for using your thumb or your finger or something like that. Um, on the real one, it's really pointing outwards. You can see it's like, you know, there is a difference in between like levels 
um, so to speak, of um, the dye on the case. And on the fake one, it's basically unnoticeable. It's very, very soft on your hand again. Um, but that is, yeah, like I've mentioned, a difference that is mostly um, noticeable when you use your fingers. Now, when it comes to the bracelet, meaning both the links and then the closure system, it is virtually the same thing. I mean, honestly, it is an exact copy. I would actually say that it is the best part about the fake. It is the part that most resembles the actual watch. It is unnoticeable. I mean, I looked at it for, again, a good five minutes and I was like, is there a difference? Is there a difference? I want to see a difference. And I like didn't see a difference at all. not the most important thing since it's something that you know nobody will see since it will be sitting on your wrist but again this is something where I really don't see a difference and I've been looking at it for quite a while next up we have the crown and here I do think that it is important because it is something that is obviously very very much showing on your watch and it is something that is useful to rewind your Rolex so on the fake one which again is in this hand it does seem like the crown is of like color. It's of this like blue-ish color. Um, when the real one, which again is in this hand, um, the crown has like the same color as the general stainless steel watch. Um, so there is a difference in terms of color. Again, there is also a tiny, tiny difference in terms of the size of the logo. So both feature the Rolex logo on the crown. But on the fake one, it seems like that logo is a little bit larger proportionate to the crown than on the real one. So there is, however, a huge, huge, huge functional difference which is that the fake one, which again is in this hand, actually has a battery. So it is not a watch that you can rewind. So obviously you can change the time and then change the date as well, but you're not going to rewind this watch. This is not an automatic watch. So obviously the real Rolex, which is here, is an automatic system. And so you can rewind it very, very easily using the little crown. So in conclusion, this is actually the best ever fake that I have seen. I have to say I'm very, very impressed with the quality and then a bit scared at the same time because there is virtually like no way to tell, especially if you're not comparing side by side watches. I was super impressed with the quality and with the looks. And so for that reason, I would actually recommend getting this watch, for example, to be able to tell if this watch is for you. They have the same weight, so Rolex watches can be a little bit heavy if you're not used to them. And they actually have the same weight and then the same aesthetics, so this would be a good way of like not spending $10,000 and then figuring out that this watch is not for you. That way you only spend like $200 or so and it's definitely a lot more affordable and easy on the wallet. So I actually don't think that people who are even into Rolexes would be able to tell I actually posted it on like a Rolex community page on Facebook saying something like, hey, check out my new watch, what do you think? And all of these people were like, oh my God, it looks amazing, congratulations, blah, 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 blah. And nobody was actually able to spot that it was a fake even though I had taken like many, many close-ups. Um, so that was really interesting. It's definitely something to consider. It is one of the best, if not actually the best, yeah, probably the best fake that I have encountered. So if you are interested in getting it to either wear it as your definite watch or to just see if this watch is for you, then I will go ahead and leave all of the relevant information in the description box of the video. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this other episode of Fake vs. Real on my channel. I absolutely love to do them. 
I've done a few. I've done the Louis Vuitton Wonderland flat ranger boots like I've mentioned, but I've also done fairly recently a Chanel 19 handbag. So if you are interested in seeing that video, I will go ahead and leave it in the little information link over here for you to see it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.